All right, guys, CoderBoy32 here. Check it out. What we're looking at is a competition rifle. This is my three-gun comp. Now, I've got a couple different variations that I like to run. This particular style, we're going to go ahead, and I'm choosing to run with the Ace Skeletonized Stock. Now, is there a reason why? Yeah, I like this simplified cheek weld right here. One, it doesn't interfere with my earmuffs. Now, the other one that I have is kind of like the Sig slash Lancer carbon fiber, and we're going to continue to test with that, but on the next upcoming event, I want to give this guy right here a shot. And I also, uh, down the road, we'll go ahead and probably install a hyperfire trigger in here. But right now, we're running the Geisley SSA Enhanced, which I'm a big fan of the two-stage triggers, specifically when you start talking about long-distance shooting. And in the upcoming event, we're going to be doing probably some good amount of long-distance shooting on that with the AR. So what do we have here? Well, we got a competition rifle. And on this guy, I had basically installed a barrel that I already had in stock, and that was this 18-inch heavy barrel. And this is a Mark 12 profile barrel from uh, the boys over there at DPMS. And if you watch any of our three-gun guys chat that we have on Friday night on Bald and Curious's channel, there's one gentleman that we like to invite. His name is X-Ring. Now, X-Ring is pretty much a professional. That's what he does. He shoots pretty much for a living, and he was able to provide us some advice on one of the chats. And in that... I specifically asked him, I said, if I wanted to change my barrel out, what barrel? And he goes, well, you know, if you had unlimited funds, probably JP Industries or JP Barrel is probably, well, the one you want to go for. But if you have a budget in, you, in mind, another barrel that you want to look at, and he has some people that he communicates with and shoots with, they shoot with a Criterion barrel. Now, this is it right here. I, specifically, when he said that, I had another gentleman uh, Bryson shoots. That's his Instagram channel. Young man. He is an awesome three gun competitor. Anyway, he backed it up. He said, man, we've run the daylights out of these criterion barrels and they perform. And with that information, I said, you know what, let's go ahead and do it. So I went ahead and ordered. This is a criterion barrel. This is their AR 15, 16 inch hybrid rifle, two, two, three, one, eight nitride. Now this is the, uh, two, two, three wild chamber and it has a rifle length gas system. So let's go ahead and open her up here. It comes in this protected deal right here. And voila. Now the cool thing about it, this is a 16 inch rifle barrel with a rifle length gas system. So what do we do with a rifle length gas system? Well, it's a little bit more forgivable. It has less recoil or movement in the barrel in the back here in a buffer tube system. And it's gonna be pretty neat. So here's the markings right here. 223 Wild 1 and 8. It's just, I'm so excited about this. Now, I'll tell you this. I did open it up previous to this video. And one of the things that I did find is the gas porthole was blocked up. Now, the cool thing, I'll tell you this right off the bat. I called the folks this morning. Just got this thing on Friday night. Called the folks over there at Criterion. A young lady answered the phone. Answered the phone. No automated messaging system. No automated telemarketer or whatever they call those things. But a young lady answered the phone. And I said... You know, here's my situation. I have a gas port on one of my rifle barrels that I ordered from you, and it is blocked. She goes, oh, I have an answer for you. <laughs> really? Okay. Well, during the last portion of the manufacturing process is they plug the hole with a little BB, and that is to keep the nitride finish process from entering into the chrome line barrel. She goes, just take a pin, knock it right out, and it should be just fine. That's what they typically do. So I did, and it worked. I am so happy because I tell you what, nothing is worse than having a brand new product that, you know, uh, doesn't quite work up to your expectations. But I will tell you this, look at that thing. The young lady was correct. I popped it out with a little, uh, what do you call that thing? A roll punch. And it just came right out. Now I want to show you something in this thing. And I'm going to put some detailed photos in here so you can see, but the chamber on this thing is absolutely unreal. And as you can see here, look at the tip of that thing. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. And this is a button rifle barrel uh, rifling system. It is chrome lined and hand lapped. Now, one of the most impressive parts is the chamber. If I had a chamber uh, camera, which I actually have a bore camera, I would, but I'm not going to actually get involved in it. But if you can look down in there, look how beautiful that is. These things are hand lapped. Absolutely wonderful. Now, one of the things, if you buy one of these, you absolutely have to make sure that your head, space is, head spacing is correct. Now, I'm not going to get involved in that and showing you how to do that. But what I want to do, I'm going to take this barrel 
Because one of the things that I've found in shooting offhand with this rifle, because of the uh, weight of this barrel right here, it was pretty impressive. Now this guy is not a light barrel by any means. It comes in at two pounds and 0.7 ounce. We'll go ahead and we'll switch it out with this guy real quickly and we'll see what the weight differences is. But when you're shooting offhand and you got a heavy barrel out there, it has a tendency to move around. That's about right. But from what I've heard from these barrels, you can shoot sub MOA all day long with just about any ammo out there. So we're gonna give it a test. We're gonna go ahead and install it. I'm gonna take it out to the range. We're gonna go ahead and do the break-in process. And yes, guys, when you get a brand new precision barrel, there is a break-in process. A lot of people say, well, I'll just run the hell out of it. Well, that's your choice. You can do that. But we're gonna go ahead and put this guy through its process. Now, this is a temporary test bed. There, I do have a new upper and lower billet aluminum coming, Rainier system, the Ultra Match, I believe it's called. And later on, we'll go ahead and install this. But because I have a competition coming up in about two weeks, I wanna have this guy ready to go. Here we go, let's install it, and then we'll do a weight comparison. And that's what we'll do. Look at that, man. Look at the barrel details. Hopefully you can see that. Maybe it'll, hopefully it'll focus in. There we go. Beautiful. M4 feeder ramps, barrel extension is beautiful. Now the proper way to put this thing on is to use some Loctite 609 expansion. And uh, well, we're not gonna do that this time around, but I can't wait to test fire this thing. Here we go, let's switch it out. Stand One by. other item I wanna add is the total weight of this rifle, and it's a hefty little beast. All together, hold on, wait for it. With the big old fat vortex, is nine pounds, 8.2 ounces. That's a heavy beast. So hopefully we'll see a difference down the road when we get there, stand by. Well, all right guys, here we are. We put it on there and look at that, man. The total weight reduction using the same rail, same gas block, same muzzle brake, just changed the barrel out, was, is now eight pounds, 13.7 ounces. Now here is that DPMS Mark 12 barrel profile here. This guy comes in at a whopping two pounds, 10.7 ounces, which is just a tremendous. But I'll tell you what, this guy right here has got, I've got future plans for this thing because this is a sub MOA barrel. This thing is nice. Stainless steel, one and eight twist, and loves, loves 77 grain. So anyway, that's what we're probably gonna end up doing is shooting 77 grain through this guy right here, running a 5.56 tactical muzzle brake, which I absolutely love. And again, rifle length gas system. We're gonna take it out, do a perfect break in on this thing. I checked the head spacing, it was without fail. Absolutely love it. All right guys, well that's it. I'm real excited about taking this rifle out and using it with this shorter barrel. The next three gun event we have coming up, we're gonna be doing housing defensive maneuvers, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, it should be fun. Like I said guys, go to Boy32. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform. 24-7 our freedom. Because freedom comes in about a two-pound trigger pool. Well, wait a minute. <laughs> Got a boy 32 out. Look at that. Isn't she pretty? Nice.